two of my favorite reads of all time at WP Carry and Vici Properties. I like them so much because they both enjoy defensive cash flow from long-term leases. They also enjoy steady rent growth from contractual rent hikes that are CPI based in most cases, so they are well protected from inflation. Then they have strong balance sheets. They have large pipelines of future acquisition opportunities at large spreads over their cost of capital in most cases. And then finally, they have long track record of significant outperformance by executing their investment strategies. I'll first put a chart of WP Carry on the screen. And then now next, I'll put one of Peachy Properties. So you will see clearly that both rates have been massive winners. And this is why I've been very happy to hold position in both rates in recent years and I expect them to keep on outperforming far into the future. But if I had to pick one today, would it be WP Carry or Vici Properties? This is the question I'm going to answer in today's video. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run a small investment firm that specializes in rate investing. And in today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you why I slightly prefer WP Carry in today's market environment. But before I get into it, could you please do me a favor and like this video? It will really help me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you very much. So the main reason why I slightly prefer WP Carry in today's market is its valuation. Over the past few months, we've seen the share price of WP Carry drop by about 20%, even as the rest of the REIT market remained flat for the most part. As a result, it has now become quite a bit cheaper than the average of the REIT sector. And I think that the reason why the market has been pricing it at such a low valuation is because it has become increasingly frustrated with the lack of growth in WP Carry. What has happened here is that WP Carry has been unwinding its asset management business, which used to earn them fee income. And so naturally this has been dilutive to the FFO per share. And so this has really overshadowed all the growth that has happened on the property level and has also prevented the REIT from growing their dividend by any significant amount. The market naturally doesn't like this because we are in a high inflation world. We're also dealing with rising interest rates. And so unless a REIT is able to grow its dividend, the market is likely going to punish the REIT with a lower valuation. This is what has happened here. And as a result, now the company is priced at less than 13 times FFO or roughly 6% dividend yield, which is way above average for the REIT sector. But here's why I think that this is an attractive opportunity right now. WP Carry is now priced at a discount relative to the average of the REIT sector, but its balance sheet quality is actually above average. Its property is also more defensive than average, and the company has a far better track record than the average of the REIT sector. And most importantly, I think that we are now at the cusp of seeing its growth accelerate in the coming years. And I think that this is going to serve as a catalyst to reprice the stock at a higher multiple. The reason why I think that its growth is set to accelerate is because it's now almost done unwinding its asset management business. So this is a temporary headwind and it's almost done dealing with that. And at the same time, its same property NOI growth has been accelerated in recent quarters because we've been dealing with high inflation and WP Carry has CPI based rent hikes in most of its leases. In the first quarter of this year, WP Carry was able to grow its rents by 4.3%. So this really shows you the advantage of having CPI based rent hikes in your leases. If you compare that to other net lease rates like realty income, as an example, it's more than the double of their growth. The market is yet to react to this strong growth because it hasn't really shown up yet in the FFO per share or the dividend. But I predict that in the coming years, as the REIT now is done unwinding its asset management business, its rents keep growing at a rapid pace. And now they also double down on future acquisitions. We're going to see a repricing of the stock from 12.8 times FFO closer to 16 times FFO, which could unlock about 20 to 30% upside potential. In the meantime, you earn a more than 6% dividend yield. There is also some growth in its cash flow. And so overall, I like the risk to reward here because this is coming from a fairly defensive rate and the upside potential is still quite attractive. I'm also bullish on Vichy properties, of course, but I don't think that has quite as much upside potential from today's valuation and its catalyst for future upside that also isn't quite as clear to me. For these reasons, I think that WP Carry offers slightly better risk to reward than Vichy properties at this time. And for this reason also, if I had to pick just one, it would be WP Carry. Now, if you want to learn more about what else I'm buying in today's market, feel free to join my read newsletter for a two week free trial. I'll put a link somewhere in the description of this video. And otherwise, once again, if you could like this video, it will really help me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you very much and see you at my next one. Bye bye.